Good morning, people. I made it to a wisdom teeth consultation, and it's cold as heck in my car. Y'all, I'm freezing. The heat ain't even kicked in yet. Maybe I need to blast it. But it's um now Monday the 27th, about 10:30 in the morning. Y'all, I'm freezing. My appointment at 11 15, but I want to go ahead and get in the car warmed up, take my time heading there because I have to be there 15 minutes early anyway. And I'm not exactly sure where it is because it's my first time going that that way, or not that way, but to this um, office. Um, it's not too far from me. So, yeah. I don't really have any plans today because you know today's gym day for Jerome. So, I'll I usually be home on gym days or I run errands then I'm home for the rest of the time but um, I don't have any plans today so I'll probably be home just working on new business marketing um, flyers not flyers banners and um, ads to go on Instagram today is Cyber Monday so for those who are shopping today and you get 30% off your entire order excluding bundle deals because those are already highly discounted so um regular price items are 30% off that you can't beat that deal 30% off y'all that's a lot of money once you add it up it includes the taxes no it doesn't include taxes so taxes is apply afterwards but taxes isn't that much depending on where you live um whew. it's cold here but yeah, um, thank you for everybody that supported me during the Black Friday week of sales. Y'all made this dream possible. <laughs> but no, for real, thank y'all, cause your girl, I wasn't expecting as many orders as I got, and I'm I'm grateful for that. So thank y'all. Um, this is the front I was talking about. All right, see, I told y'all I didn't do a great job. But it's not a horrible job, you know? Like, I got a couple baby hairs, but it ain't laid how I want it. I kind of just laid them down for the night. Um, and then I can't really wear my hair how I want to because I feel like it just doesn't look right on me. So I've just been wearing it in the ponytail. So I'm probably going to just wear this this week and then probably Thursday or Friday I'm going to take it off. And um i'm getting braids this weekend when i go see my brother play he's gonna give me some braids so i'll be wearing braids for another three weeks because my hair needs a protective style where i don't have to man manipulate it so much so yeah that's what i'll be doing oh um, <sighs> yeah this heat still ain't kicking now uh, i've been sitting in the car for at least three four minutes i'm cold they ain't come on with this heat now. But yes. So I just want to give you all an update on what I'm doing. I'll let you all know what they say about my wisdom teeth. I'm not looking forward to it because I know I have to get all four taken out. But one of them, it might just be the crown because the last consultation, they said it was on a nerve or they couldn't tell if it was on a nerve. So they were just going to take out the crown of it. So, um,. And I have to get this done before the year's up, so I'll probably be getting my wisdom teeth pulled in about two weeks, which I'm not excited for, but it needs to happen because I do get pain back there whenever, like every once in a while. And I was supposed to get my wisdom teeth, wisdom teeth taken out about two years ago, so I'm way behind. Um, when I was starting to get it done, I got pregnant, so I couldn't get it done. So, yep. Um, I'm not looking forward to that, so we'll see how it goes. Talk to y'all a little. What's up, everybody? I am headed to Piccadilly to get me something to eat because the girl ain't ate since I vlogged this morning, which is like, well, yeah, well, I got something to eat after I left my appointment at, um, I think I left around 12, so we had McDonald's for breakfast, and that ain't fit me up one bit. So it's now like almost almost six o'clock and I'm about to go get me something to eat. Uh it's crazy how it goes from being bright to dark as soon as I get in the car. 
But anyway, um, my um, orthopedic surgeon, orthopedic, um, the teeth doctor <laughs> stated that I have to get three of my wisdom teeth removed and I'm gonna have to get it done. Um, well, they made me an appointment for the 13th of next month. So the total amount will be close to $2,000 with before insurance. And then um, they're gonna let me know if I'm able to get um, insurance to take anything off. Then I'm gonna apply to see if I can pay for it um, and credit. So basically pay a monthly fee until I'm able to pay the full amount which I really don't want to do, but that seems to be the only way I'm going to be able to get my teeth taken out because your girl got to get these taken out before the year is up. If it was up to me, I'll wait a little longer, but my dentist that I went to a couple weeks ago said I need to get those taken out as soon as possible and because I still have other work that has to be done to my teeth. I got to still get a cleaning. I haven't gotten a cleaning since last December, which has been a year almost and you're supposed to get them at least twice a year which is every six months so i'm very very behind on as far as getting my teeth clean so that's why i have to get it done as soon as possible so that's the plan i had to plan it after um my trips because i have to go to jacksonville for my brother's game this weekend money or not i'm going if i can't get in the game you know i'll be at the house waiting for him to come out the next weekend after that is Kayla's graduation. My sister, if you don't know who that is, she graduates from Savannah State with her bachelor's in biology. So I'm gonna be there for that. Dang, she's still running mail. It's almost six o'clock. But um, yeah, so that's how my two weekends are going now. So that's why I'm trying to get that stuff done before I get my teeth pulled because my mouth will be swollen for she said about four or five days so I'm not going to be going anywhere with a swollen mouth especially when I have to take pictures so I chose that weekend I do have something planned for that weekend but it doesn't matter if my mouth is swollen or not because I'm just going to be around friends so um and I don't I don't plan on taking any pictures or anything so I don't really care if my mouth is swollen those days what I'm not looking forward to is the pain honey because uh, your girl they say I got high pain tolerance but I don't feel like I do I just tolerate it sometimes because I know I'm not taking any medicine for it that's how I tolerate it but if I know I can take some medicine I pop that medicine real quick and um, I'm not I hope there's no complications uh, I wasn't too sure about the surgeon because tell me if I'm being judgmental or not but he looked like he may have been on, dr on drugs in his earlier days he was a white guy not being racist he was white but you know how like some bums on the street you could tell they've been on drugs like how they talk and just little things like that and when he walked in the room i was just like hmm, you're the doctor like you're the dentist or the surgeon for this office i was like shook because there's no pictures of him online first first of all and his um, reviews were very vague so i i only chose him because they answered the phone when i needed to make the appointment so i was kind of iffy when he was talking to me and he seemed to be rushing through my um like just talking to me about the procedure he just like do this this and this don't do this don't do that any questions like the one the consultation i've been to before in savannah he sat taught me explained everything maybe because they had me watching videos so he just assumed that i knew everything which I pretty much already knew the information, but my thing is still, you wanna make me feel comfortable. And he didn't really make me feel comfortable. The lady that talked to me at the consultation made me feel comfortable. So that's why I went ahead and set the appointment. But I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me judging with my eyes instead of his performance. He does have multiple degrees. He went to Emory for school. So I mean, that's the top school in Georgia. So, um, maybe I'm just being judgmental, so I'm just going to do it, and I'm going to pray to God I have no complications. I'm going to do exactly what is stated 
as far as taking medications and eating before and after and all that other stuff so i just pray to god everything goes well i asked him about one of my teeth that the other um surgeon told me could cause permanent damage to my tongue and he said that it wouldn't do that because it, i guess it may have moved up since the last x-ray i've gotten on my teeth so i'm gonna pray about that also because i do not want permanent numbness in my tongue because that's gonna be a bitch and it's not gonna be fun for me because that means i won't be able to taste my food ever again for the rest of my life and i'm not down with that so yeah unless i'm i'm pretty sure they have a surgery to fix it but who has money to pay for that kind of surgery um go ahead because you just all up on my tail won't even let me get in the turn lane before you try to get in the turn lane so yeah it's dark so i'll talk to y'all later and i missed the light dear black people we have to do better with customer service and i've said this once upon a time on my channel i said this maybe two years ago on my channel black people have the worst customer service let me tell y'all what happened so i'm out running errands and my check engine light comes on first of all before they even came on my car didn't feel like it was driving correctly it felt like it was shaking so i'm on the phone telling my mama about it and my check engine light come on so i pull over to the gas station and i just sit there we just talking the destination is on your left we just 412 north henry okay siri we just talking and a time go by and i was like let me check my oil so i go check my oil check it two or three times i know how to check oil i've seen people check oil all the time i paid attention so i would know if you don't know how to check oil you take the look it's a engine oil it's a stick you take it out you wipe it off with a paper towel, you stick it back in, you pull it back out, and you look at where the oil is on the stick. It's usually a line that tells you, hey, your oil shouldn't be under this line, or past the line or under this line, whatever. I have a minimum and a maximum. So it says minimum here, maximum up there. So it tells you exactly where your oil should be on that stick. Mine was under the minimum. So my mom like, you need to call the place where you got your oil changed last and you need to tell them you don't have any oil in your car. So I call and I'm like, hey, I just got my oil changed two weeks ago and um, I just checked my oil and I don't have any oil in my car. I have like less than what's on my stick and my check engine light came on. The first thing the lady says in the middle of me is her, excuse me, man, your check engine light not gonna come on because you ain't got no oil. I said, okay, but I'm trying to tell you, I checked my oil. I just got an oil change two weeks ago. I checked my oil today and I have little oil in my car. She's like, well, how many times did you check it? Did you pull it out, wipe it off, put it back in, put it in, pull it back out, or you just pulled it out? I said, I know how to check oil. I wiped it off, I put it in, I pulled it out, and my oil is under minimum. She's like, okay, ma'am. Well, let me um get your tag number. Give my tag number, no problem. She said, oh, I know what the problem is. You got engine leaks, transmission leaks, this, this, and that. And they told you that on your last visit. I said, excuse me, no, they did not. They did not tell me I had all these leaks because if that was the case, I would have at least got it fixed or I would not have drove home 300 plus miles with engine leaks. And she's like, ma'am, they told you. You wasn't there, you, they did not tell me. You wasn't there, a man dealt with me. You weren't there, there was no women there. You were not there, they did not tell me. What? And then she said, well, it's on your receipt. I said, yes ma'am i see that now on my receipt that it says on the bottom but i was not told that verbally if i was told that verbally i would have got a fix along with the air filters i got replaced and all this other stuff she was like what well, they told you last on uh, 2017 may the first time you came up here i said ma'am once again they never verbally told me that the only thing they told me about was i needed my air filters replaced and i needed an oil change that cost me 60 plus dollars and the air filter all that together cost me a hundred dollars she was like um okay okay that's all you got to say okay what's your name and she said no i asked i said what's your manager's name she said brad i said what's his last name i don't know ma'am so you don't know your manager's right. last name? 
No, ma'am. I said, okay, are you franchise or are you corporate? I don't know that answer either, ma'am. I'm not sure about this location. I said, okay. Um, I was about to say, have a nice day. But she, hold on, hold on. She hands me the phone, hands the phone to the manager. So I'm like, uh, I tell him what's going on. And I was like, she told me there's no manager there. He was like, well, I just walked in, man. I said, okay, well, that's fine. And I explained to him what happened. And he tells me, you know, calmly, exactly what I need to do, apologizes for her, blah, blah, blah. I, like, that's why he was white. And I know he was white because I seen him there at the store before. I'm like, come on now. It take a white man to calm me down because a black girl want to catch an ass with me when I got a couple questions. I'm not calling y'all to argue about you changing my oil. I know you changed my oil. I know something. I know my car is not the best car. I have an old car. I have an old ass car. My car is, was born in the 2000s, okay? I know my car is old. My thing is, I'm trying to let you know what's going on and you trying to tell me it's my fault. It's not my fault. I'm just trying to see what I need to do. That's all. I'm not trying to get nothing free. If it was me, if it was my fault, I would have paid for whatever I needed done. But now that you've caused a problem, now I get a free service. So that's on you. That's it. Like, we have to learn how to talk to people. I did not call with an attitude. And I know I didn't because I calmed down before I, I called. I said, hi, um, my name is this. I just came there two weeks ago. Now I got an oil change. My check engine light came on and I checked my oil. And I don't have any oil. I said, I did just that. And she goes to tell me, oh, well, that ain't how you, oh, okay. We catch an attitude on spot, huh? Okay. She must not know. I'm the queen of calling corporate or telling corporate about bad service. And I also tell about good service. I've done that multiple times, especially in Walmart. If there's a, if I, if someone's there and they give me great customer service, I am quick to go to corporate and tell them how great of a person they are. And I'm also quick to tell them how bad of a customer service you got. And I'm still going to report it. And I'm going to tell them LaCar was horrible, but Brad was great. So they get a positive and a negative. But I want, I really want her job. But I'm not even going to go that far because I know people need their money. But don't come at me when I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I got things to do tomorrow. That's why I'm upset. I'm scared about what my car is doing. So don't come at me. Now I'm at Advanced Auto Parts. So I'm going to get my thing checked. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. I'm back. Looks like little old Delilah giving up on me. No, nah, she's not giving up on me, but... Basically, my car is in the shop until further notice, and I'm not going to be driving my car. I am still going to see my brother play this weekend, but um, now um, my little sister's going to have to either pick me up or Eric is going to have to pick My uncle is going to have to pick me up. So, yeah, I'm headed back to the house. None of the errands that I needed to do got completed, so except for dropping off a package. But, um, yeah. So, that's my luck. Y'all, this week has been the most stressful, tear-jerking, emotional, stress, like, it's been a week. Y'all don't know the half, like, oh my gosh, I'm so over it. I'm about to just go home and go to sleep. Say hey everybody. Did you just wait? Hey y'all, today is Friday the 1st, December 1st. Happy December. We are now in Badosta. I forgot to vlog before I left. But we are in Badosta. Go to Jacksonville tomorrow. Got mommy over here working. She ain't paying y'all no attention. Mama working. Anaya is too heavy. We got her. Look, slobbing everywhere. But we are. We are just walking around till my mom gets off. She gets off in like 10 minutes. And then we gotta buy groceries and check out. Y'all. She 
is just too much. So I'll vlog when she's off or when we head home. So see you later. You always want to cry when the camera will come on. Huh? Come here. Come here. We're home. She was just asleep. Now she up wild. Now she want to cry. What you got to say to the people? Huh? I guess that's what she had to say, but um, she's supposed to be sleeping right now. I was getting ready to go to sleep, but then she woke up staring at me. And now she just want to play, play, play. And cry, cry, cry. So we about to go, we about to go back to sleep. Y'all see this girl. All she want to do is spit. I don't know why she thinks spitting is so fun. Ooh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Was that a burp? Hmm? Was that a burp, little girl? Jesus Christ, y'all help me. As y'all can see, she's getting way more active than how she used to be on camera or in person. Come on. So, I'm going to just... I'm going to put her back to sleep so I can go to sleep. You feel me? It's like, what time is it? It's 1.37, y'all. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, wrong side. There it is. It's 1.37. So it's time for her to go to sleep. It's usually around the time she goes to sleep anyway. But yeah. Um, so I'll see you guys in the morning. We leave around 12 to get on the road to Jacksonville. Once I get to Jacksonville, I gotta run some errands. I gotta get me some braided hair. I'm getting me some braids, y'all. Keep going do my hair, my sister. And I get to see my other sisters and their boyfriends and Matani. So yeah, it's going to be a great weekend. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, vloggy vlog vlog. You want to hold the camera? Hmm. You got to hold it on the sides. Okay? You can't eat it though. No. You can't eat it. You can't eat it. We're about to get ready to leave. I'm trying to get both of us in the camera. We're about to get ready to leave. Um, we're just chilling. It's hot downstairs, so we up here. But um, it's like 11.30, 11.40, something like that. But we're getting ready to hit the road. So just want to check in. <sighs> I'm just wearing my basic sweater and jeans and boots or booties. And um, Anaya is wearing her kitty cat onesie <laughs> with cheetah print. You want to try again? You want to try to hold it again? No, don't touch the wing. Oh, Anaya. It's not going to work out, you guys. She want to eat the limbs. You can't touch the lens because you're going to break it. So, we'll talk to y'all later.
get them fingers out your mouth. Get them out. Get them out. First, get them out. <laughs> And that's how she plays. Ooh, that little dark as hell. Whoa. How'd you fall that way? Oh, <laughs> we look dark, girl. We look dark, girl. Especially mine. <laughs> Hey everybody, sorry for the quarrels. Lily about to make a wig on my head for herself. But we are her. Say say oh hey gosh. to Kayla. Oh she got pin curls, y'all. Pin curls going crazy. That's right? not a hairstyle, okay? And we got Anaya. You can't even see her. Eden. And we got Kiki. Kiki the hairstylist. We got Uncle Greg coming in the door. We got Heidi, y'all know Heidi. Where Lillian went? They go, you know, so. Yeah, y'all know. I'm mean, you know. <laughs> But we all. Um, that's what she be saying. Y'all know. Yeah, she always say that. Y'all know who I am. <laughs> she will be all little snap, Kayla. You better help me. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna fly, pull out. But, um, so it's Gregory's birthday on Monday. You will be posting No, Lily. We are gonna do hey, a little good. surprise for him, so yeah, that's what we're getting ready. Say hey, Queenie. Hey. Say hey, Sue. Y'all see Harley? We all in the camera. <laughs> but we about to do a surprise for Gregory, so I had to come and give the preview before. She's you know, I know you not got me on Snapchat with my cornrows. No, I had it like oh, Okay, okay. <laughs> but um, we gotta. But, oh, it did get a little snippy. See, see. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Wait for the photo. They only got like a little sneaky impact. I'll pass my real quick. Say, I don't wanna... Girl, you can see the braid. <laughs> you can see the braid in the I back. Can't post it. Yeah, you can post it. I don't care. But um, we got him, you know, with the boys in the back. And yeah. we gonna put some stuff together for his little birthday. Yeah. So I'm gonna record. Yeah. No, she gonna do that the whole time. But alright, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Oh, so you wanna come to Oh, that's so cute. You need you? Yeah, that one. Oh, now you got one. You get one. Telephone. Yeah, like that. Put it into the mix. Let's play. It's only two words. It's only two words. It's only two words. What? He could have got that ticket. That extra ticket. You want to sell? You want to sell? Look at you, you just, I'm here. Oh, Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, I'm agreed. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grace. That's the team count. No. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, it's fifteen candles. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, got a couple of them twice. Yeah. 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 Man, that's a big old piece, boy. Don't think you strong. Oh Lord. Y'all. Hold on, let me check. Do y'all see this? And we had to walk. And walk. But my brother out there, y'all. I'ma see if I can get him. I think that's it. Oh, there he is right there. Y'all see him on the 20? There he is. Hey, Kenny. Please find Kenny. Oh, let's see what this play is. This is one pet of a walk. So, I'll see y'all. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Monday, the fourth. Happy birthday, Gregory! Um, I'm just watching some vlogs that I missed this weekend. I'm watching Aaliyah J's vlogmas. Um, right now, I just got done watching Keisha Kaylee, um, Sparkle Marie. I watched it last night. Jayla Corian and DK4L. I'm missing one more person and somebody else. But, um, who was the other person? I'm not sure. But anyway, um, the lighting just got dark. I'm about to get on the road as soon as my mom comes home from her break. I'm driving her truck back to Atlanta because, like I told you all, my truck, I mean, my car is out of service for now. So, um, I'm going to be driving her truck, but then I have to come back on Thursday because we're going to Kayla's graduation on Friday. So it's gonna be a long weekend. I mean a long week for me of traveling. Um yeah, Anaya's still asleep. She's been asleep for ten plus hours. I guess she was really, really tired yesterday. She didn't even eat all her food. She ate um a can of prunes because she has to use the bathroom. And um I tried to feed her sweet potatoes and uh sweet potatoes and green beans. She ate half of that, and then she would not eat her peaches. So um, I just threw it away, and I gave her her bottle. She drank all of that, and she was knocked out. Like she drank four ounces, and then after that, she I thought she was done, and she just sat there for a minute, and then she started like crying. So I gave her the last ounce. She was asleep before she was done with the last ounce, but she kept the bottle in her mouth. Um, and then when she was done, she just took it out, but she was still asleep, so, yeah, she's been asleep since then, and I had to shower and all that while she was sleeping last night, so I didn't go to bed till, like, 2.30, uh, I didn't even realize I fell asleep because I was watching vlogs, and I just woke up and my phone was still playing and my battery was almost dead, so, yeah, so now I'm just... Um, waiting on her to get up, waiting to him from my mom, and then I'll be hitting the road. So, yep, that's my plans for today. So, I'm going to continue watching vlogs until she gets up, and that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week. And we're back. Happy Thanksgiving. Little one is looking like she's never...